if you don't have a camera gimbal but if you are using recent sony camera then you can use the software called catalyst browse to establish your video and that software will make your crappy footage to a gimbal like footage hey guys this is james and welcome to another video today i'm going to show you how you can establish any sony camera video using a software called catalyst browse so without wasting any time let's get started okay first we have to install the software let's go to our browser and search for sony catalyst browse then you'll get a web link like this click here and then click download now and from here download the software for your system right after downloading the software just install it after installing you have to open the software just search for catalyst browse and open it before proceeding on you have to remember some information when you are using catalyst browse to establish your videos it is apparently establishing the video using some zero data recorded by your camera so you have to make sure that you are using a camera footage which is capable of recording this gyro data which camera are supported i'll give a list here you can see this camera are supported by catalyst browse so the recent sony camera like sony zv1 zmi e10 which i'm recording right now then sony a7c a7 4 a7s3 this camera is supported by catalyst browse software and one more thing you have to remember if you want to use catalyst browse software to establish your video when we record a video what we usually do we usually keep our shutter speed doubling the frame rate right if you're recording 24 fps video then you may keep your shutter speed 1 by 48 or 1 by 50 right but if you want to use catalyst browse software you have to make sure that you have kept your shutter speed above 100 so if you're recording 24 fps video you have to keep your shutter speed 1 by 100 or 1 by 200 that will give you better result otherwise you'll get choppy blurry like footage so let's start the stabling process right so when you open catalyst browse software you'll get explorer just like this one before proceeding on make sure you have transferred all the videos from your camera to a local drive so that it work pretty fast otherwise it will lag right just browse where you have saved your videos there are a lot of files and folders here so i will go here on this folder where i have kept the video files that i have recorded today this one and from this one so after opening the file you can see there are a lot of video footage and some footage has a weird symbol which is this one and some doesn't have why because when i have shoot this video i have shoot this video in 24 fps and i have turned off my stabilization and when i have shoot this one if i play it back you can see this is a slow motion video this video is not capable of using catalyst browse data when my camera recorded this video it didn't record any gyro data but when i record this video it has recorded the gyro data that is the reason it is showing this symbol so if you want to stable any video you have to make sure you are not using any kind of stabilization you have to turn off the stabilization of your camera and then you have to make sure you have keep your shutter speed above of 1 by 100 and last thing you have to make sure that you are not recording any 120 fps video catalyst browse can't handle any video higher than 60 fps if you record any video higher than 60 fps you cannot stable it using the catalyst browse software you have to make sure you are recording any video which is lower than 60 fps now let's see how we can stable any video i'll scroll down and here this is a good one i want to stable this video so if you click here then you can play the video and see about the video which one and if you want to use that one or not right so i want to stable this video if i play it back again you can see the video is not usable there are a lot of shape i want to stable that video so to stable the video you can just right click here and from here you can click on stable or if you are using the list view then you can just again right click here and you can click here on a stable clip or you can go here on this toolbar and from here you can click stabilize then this window will appear and from here you can stable the video this one is the before and this one is the after if you want to show one video at a time then you can select from here click here to see the before and click here to see the after so this video isn't analyzed yet so we have to first analyze the video right to analyze the video we need to click here on this analyze button then the software will analyze the clip and will apply the gyro data right if i play it back you'll see the video is much stable right now 
yeah good one but it has stable the video using the auto process but we are not going to use the auto process auto process will crop your video a lot if you use the manual one then you can retain a lot of space so if i go here on this manual one and from here i can change how much crop i want if i use maybe 25 percent then you can see the video have been cropped a lot but if i just turn it up maybe 88 percent then you can see it is apparently looking the same to our source clip so it will give you much better result now if i play it back much stable if i show you the v4 this is the v4 a lot of shakiness and again if i show you the after a lot better right it is looking like we have recorded the video using a gimbal so that's it that is how you can stable the video after doing all the settings then you have to export the video to export the video you need to click here on this export icon and if you want you can color grade the video using this software i'm not going to use the color grading feature of this software i want to use the premiere pro to color grade the video so i'm not using that so click here on this export icon then from here we can change a lot of settings we are not going to change any settings i'm just keeping the video as my source clip so that i can convert from slog 2 to normal rec 709 in adobe premiere pro so i'll click here on this export where i want to save it and browse that and select the folder that you want to save and then scroll down and from here click export then you have to select the video file which one you want to export if you're using the free version then you are not allowed to export multiple file together you need to export one by one so i am using a free version i cannot select multiple files from here so i'm just selecting one file at a time and then i'm clicking ok now it will export the file on that folder it will take a little bit time so let's wait ok the export process is completed if we go here on this folder which is this one this is the folder where we have saved if i play it back you can see the video is much stable So that's it that is how you can stable sony camera video using a software called catalyst browse i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you need this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing lighting filmmaking etc etc then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye